Pro Comp Eliminator at the Sports Nationals. That was Chase Knight of Miami, Florida, hitting the wall at Beach Bend Park. Drag racing described as one of the quickest of all motorsports. It can go wrong just as quick. He's matched against the funny car of Jerry Gwynn, Armstrong from California, Gwynn from Miami, Florida. This is first round racing. And again, one little error put the defending Grace Cup champion, Jerry Gwynn in the near lane, Frank Hawley in the far lane. Hawley now into his proper staging position. Here comes Jerry Gwynn. When they're set, the switch is thrown, and it's race time. Frank Hawley with lots of problems. Frank Hawley out of control and crosses right behind Jerry Gwynn. Gwynn rims the race, both the finish line and Frank Hawley losing control, crossing the center line, which automatically disqualified him. Here in slow motion, we see it once again. Hawley's car making a violent move just as it leaves the starting line. Moves right behind Jerry Gwynn in the same lane. Automatic transmission, another limited modification. Flap can do all he wants to his altered roadster. Ford powered engine in the roadster, pulling a big lead at the start. But here comes Lingenfelter, and John Lingenfelter pulls it out of the finish line. 8.14 seconds the winning time, 8.47 seconds the losing time. In slow motion, we'll go back and take a look at this race as the Roadster, with 35 hundredths of a second head start on the index system, tries to hold off the charge of the dragster. He still has the lead at the middle of the course. He still has the lead at the first timing light. But at the finish line, it's John Lingenfelder by just a little over a wheel length. Corona gets the head start of one full second. seconds his elapsed time. Here in slow motion you see the hard charge made by Blankenship. She gets the head start. Now she has to hold off the charge of DiLorenzo. Joe beginning to inch forward and coming from behind is DiLorenzo. What a close race. At 120 miles an hour just Passing Judy Lilly at the finish line. Watching one of the closest races of the day. Judy Lilly going out in round number three. This is how he got to the finals. He's racing Jim Lamurka from Coropolis, Pennsylvania. Harrison out of Albion, Illinois gets the head start. A little over a half a second head start. Went to Bob Harrison. Can Lamurka make it up? No, he cannot. given to Harrison, disappear by a battle wheel length. Harry gets four tenths of a second head start. The handicap starting system used the modified eliminator. And Perry not to be headed, 10.86 seconds of the cross with 15 hundredths of a second head start. Start has a bit of a lead, a couple of hundred feet off the line, and he comes. 
comes from behind at the finish to take the win. 8.76 seconds. Alongside of him, Cotton Perry. Perry getting a tenth of a second head start. A lot of concentration on Perry's face as he watches intently the Christmas tree and leaves right on time. Side by side, they battle their way down the quarter mile. And for the second event, In the far lane is Bobby Cross, driving the C-class Econo Dragster. In the near lane, John Lingenfelter in the B-class Econo Dragster. 75 hundredths of a second, three quarters of a second head start going to Bobby Cross. 32-year-old John Lingenfelter already with five wins to his credit. Does not do it here as Bobby Cross takes his first ever national win. 8.80 seconds. And what a story behind this. Ken Feeney, many-time national champion, built himself a new car. He brought it to this. The Sports Nationals debuted it here in national event competition and is in the finals with a funny car. Kenny Cook in the small block Chevrolet. Red lights away his chance. And it is Ken Feeney, the winner. Kenny Cook got to the finish line first, but he left the starting line first. This is a rerun of the final round of competition eliminator. If this Bobby Cross in the far lane against John Lingenfelter in the near lane. The race was run and Bobby Cross was the apparent winner. We'll watch here as he gets the head start. Both are Econo Dragsters. One is a C category car for Bobby Cross. The other a B for John Lingenfelter. There you see Cross crossing the finish line first. But in a post-race teardown and certification by NHRA's technical department. It was discovered that some improper cylinder head modifications had been made. Bobby Cross was disqualified. John Lingenfelter, the winner of competition eliminator at the Sports Nationals.